Hey guys, welcome back or to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be taking apart the rear wheel to get rid of some rotational mass. Also, we'll be adjusting the chain. I might have made that in the second part of the video. But you'll see here, we have this little, um, I'm gonna call it a chain saver. It's about 30 grams, not all that big, but I need to take this off. And at the same time, I wanna extend my over fender, or and sorry, extend install my over fender which is an extension right over top of here to stop the dirt from flying up as you can see here a little bit of dirt and stuff so that's what we're going to be doing today so after some additional testing i ended up noticing that uh we see the hole here that was covering that bolt for when i need to reattach this rear fender so I started drilling the hole and I realized that my drill bits aren't here, they're at work. So that's as big as I can go. And I was gonna like kind of dremel it out. And as that's why it's kind of like ovulated. Well, that's not even a real world, real word. It's midnight, I'm tired. Um, so it's ovaled out and we're gonna have to make it about uh, an eighth of an inch all the way around bigger. So I'm probably gonna go with like 3 16th or something. I do have to do some more bending to get this to uh, put right there, you'll see that I need it for here, it needs to come over right about there. And then when I bend this over, I'm gonna have to bend that forward a bit, not by much, but that's what this thing is. It's a, not a standard piece for the bike. And um, that's just the way it goes. So, I'm very happy that this little bit of rotational mass is. Yes, we have a lift. No, we will not be using it. I just basically grabbed two ratchet straps and attached them to uh, the arms or channels of my garage door opener and use that to lift up the motorcycle. Works pretty good for this. So as you can see here, basically when your chain gets too loose, that's what this is designed for. This will catch the chain when it comes off. And that way, you don't damage anything. We don't need that because hopefully we'll be smart enough to keep our chain properly adjusted. Now that the bike is up in the air and we're able to remove the rear wheel, we can take our chisel and pop those welds, which will get rid of the chain saver and that 30 grams of extra rotational mass. And since we had to take off the rear wheel to get the chain saver, we can also install our uh, fender slash splash guard. There you have it guys. We have just removed the chain retainer in case a catastrophe happens. So as long as you keep your chain well taut, you're good to go. In the next video, we're gonna talk about keeping your chain well maintained and taut. Thanks for watching, any questions? And yeah, this is only about 30 grams. I don't have a scale, but if I did, it'd probably be weighing around there. So there you go. A little bit of less rotational mass makes you just a little faster. Anyways, catch you on the next one. Peace.